From giant murder hornets on the loose in North America, to jellyfish taking over the Mediterranean, here are 15 of the world's scariest invasive species. Number 15. Mediterranean Jellyfish One factor that enables species to take hold in new areas is climate change. There is no better example of this than what is happening in the Mediterranean Sea. You can deny it all you want people, but the sea creatures don't lie. The waters in the area are now a few degrees warmer than in the past, and this warmth stays around longer during the year. This has made it the ideal breeding ground for various species of jellyfish that previously would never have ventured into the cool waters. Population numbers have been increasing for a while, but they got a massive boost in 2015 when the Suez Canal was widened. This gave the jellyfish a quick route into the Mediterranean, and their numbers have flourished. The problem with jellyfish is that they're incredibly difficult to get rid of, and with the ability to lay up to 45,000 eggs in a single day, as well as cloning themselves forever and ever, their presence is on the rise. Authorities are trying to stop them from spreading since their large numbers are affecting tourism and hurting local aquatic animals. The chances of actually eliminating the problem are thought to be minimal. If you're going for a swim in the Mediterranean, watch out for the jellyfish. Number 14. Green Iguanas These lizards have more in common with humans than you think, and this is particularly true in South Florida. Iguanas enjoy the nice scenery and swimming pools where they're often found. They've also been known to hit the links at golf courses and are commonly seen around pedestrians on sidewalks. At around 5.5 feet long and weighing 9 pounds, the reptiles have been breeding rapidly in the areas where pet owners dumped them. That includes Miami suburbs and the Keys where packs of them swarm over sea walls and leave behind trails of filth as they roam through parks. Many citizens complain that there's just no escaping these cold-blooded critters which continue multiplying like rabbits. Number 13. Asian Carp Asian carp are a strong lesson about how foreign species can affect an entire ecosystem. Now, many waterways in the United States are suffering from what was initially a well-motivated decision. They were introduced in the southeast to clear vast areas of weeds and parasites in order to breathe new life into the rivers. But the surprising and unforeseen consequences have come at a high price. The four main species of Asian carp that cause problems, the big head, black, grass and silver, are tough, have few predators and can lay hundreds of thousands of eggs at a time. They're also able to jump small distances out of the water, which lets them cross dams and barriers. It's a pretty talented fish, I have to give it that. This jumping ability, along with flooding, have allowed the species to spread up the Mississippi River and further. In the areas they reach, they eat all the natural food sources, which cause the native species to die out. Their large numbers are compromising the water quality, which makes it less safe to drink and kills the delicate native organisms like mussels. Number 12. Giant Hogweed Moving from the animal kingdom, we've listed a couple of invasive plant species that are cause for concern. This one is also known as the giant cow parsnip and in certain parts of the world it's considered to be a very invasive plant species. Reaching heights of 20 feet with a stem that can measure 4 inches in diameter, this is definitely one of the scariest stationary plants out there. It's rightly considered a noxious weed due to its phototoxic sap. Upon exposure to sunlight or ultraviolet rays, it causes redness, itching and blisters on the skin. Burn wounds can require hospitalization, and resultant scarring may not heal for several years. It's native to Central Asia, but was introduced to the UK as an ornamental plant in the 19th century. From there, it has spread across Europe, the US, and Canada. And now for number 11, but first be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what the scariest invader is for you in the comments below. Number 11, Javan Mongooses. While this species originates in the South and Southeast Asia, they've been introduced to many regions as a form of pest control. That includes Hawaii and certain parts of the Caribbean where rats threatened the sugarcane industry in the 1800s. 
While the mongooses were a successful deterrent, they themselves ended up becoming major pests. Wherever they've been introduced, these animals nearly always pose a threat to various forms of native wildlife. In Hawaii, they preyed on birds and endangered sea turtles. In the Caribbean, they threatened green iguanas and wiped out certain lizards. In some areas, these animals have caused the local extinction of snakes. The animals can adapt to a wide variety of habitats and now occur in Europe and Central South America in addition to other locations. They're typically ranked as one of the world's worst invasive species. Number 10. Green Anacondas Specimens of these big reptiles captured in Florida have measured around 9 feet long. Those were probably juveniles because a mature anaconda can measure more than 17 feet and weigh over 150 pounds. That makes them the world's heaviest known snakes, and they're one of the longest as well. Although the reptiles originate in the swamps and marshes of South America, many of them were adopted as pets in other regions. Very often, the animals were released into the wild by their owners after growing too large to keep. Unfortunately, that's a fairly common story when exotic animals are concerned. With these big beasts in the picture, local ecosystems could be shaken up as the serpents surpass gators and bobcats as the region's top predators. Number 9. Murder Hornets That's a scary rebrand for these insects, but you might know them better as Asian giant hornets. They're one of the most feared hornets in the world thanks to their potent venom and aggressive behaviour. With a body that measures nearly 2 inches long, they're about the size of your thumb, so it's no shock to learn that they're the largest hornets known to exist. Originating in East Asia, they're infamous for their excruciating sting, which victims have described as a white, hot, searing pain. In Japan, they're estimated to kill dozens of people annually. In late 2019, the creatures were observed in Washington state. That was the first time they were reported in the US, and it sparked fears that they could become a potentially deadly invasive species throughout North America. Those fears were enhanced when swarms of them attacked a beekeeper on Vancouver Island. So far, scientists haven't figured out how the hornets arrived in the US, although they may have been transported by international cargo. A better estimate of their population could be made during the summer and fall. That's when they're most active and could pose a major threat to native bees in North America. Number 8. Kudzu This fast-growing vine was first introduced to the US in 1876 and is native to Japan. Its intended purpose was to assist in inhibiting soil erosion. But kudzu has been spreading across the US at the rate of around 150,000 acres each year. Experts tell us that the vine can grow up to 12 inches each day. These invasive plants cause ecological and environmental damage when they outcompete native flora by overgrowing them. That blocks the available light and causes the native species to die out. Many sources consider kudzu to be the most invasive and aggressive plants in the world. Number 7. Northern Snakehead Fish this animal is sometimes called fishzilla because it can grow nearly 5 feet long and can weigh over 18 pounds. They originate in China, but they have been introduced to other parts of the world where they've become highly invasive species. That includes the US where they first showed up in 2002. Their voracious appetites led snakeheads to eradicate not only native fish but also amphibians and crustaceans. Wildlife officials offered local fishermen cash rewards to catch and kill snakeheads. Efforts have been made to electrocute the animals where they're clustered together in the water, but they're tough to get rid of. Experts say these animals can survive several days out of the water and migrate across short distances on land. Number 6. Cane Toads They're big beasts with Guinness reporting that the largest known specimen measured 14 inches and weighed over 5 pounds. Their voracious appetites endanger many native species, and toxins found in the amphibian's skin often kill any predator that tries to eat them. Cane toads get their name from sugarcane. In the past, farmers introduced the amphibians to protect their crops from local pests. Ironically, the amphibians became a serious pest in their own right. Native to Central and South America, they were exported to many regions of the planet, and they've gained a notorious reputation wherever they go. They've proven to be a particular problem in Australia. 
1935, around 102 of them were introduced to subdue the greyback cane beetle. Less than a century later, there were more than 2 billion cane toads in Oz. And they aren't leaving anytime soon. Number 5. Feral Monkeys Rhesus macaque monkeys can weigh about 17 pounds and are identified by their pink faces. While native to Central and Southeast Asia, they're listed as a globally invasive species. Because they are habitat flexible, the animals have been able to establish field populations from Brazil to Puerto Rico. In the US, the animals were thought to have been released or escaped into the wild after zoos or wildlife parks were destroyed by hurricanes. In one documented case from 1938, a colony of rhesus macaques were released into the wild as part of a tour cruise promotion in Florida. The highly intelligent and aggressive animals can force out many native species, and because they carry transmittable viruses like herpes B, they can pose a danger to humans. Number 4. Asian Tiger Mosquito Mosquitoes are generally viewed as pests, but this one is especially nasty, identified by their black and white markings which resemble tiger-like stripes. The insects are native to Southeast Asia rainforests, but have spread across the globe to Africa, Europe and to the United States. They're adaptable to a variety of habitats and thrive as easily in urban areas as in the tropics. Unlike many other mosquitoes, this species is active during the day and will keep a close proximity with humans. After females lay their eggs near fresh or stagnant water, they'll feed on humans and other animals with rapid bites. By some estimates, they can inflict 50 bites within about 15 minutes. That rapidity allows the insect to quickly fly off after eating and avoid being swatted. Those bites can be potentially dangerous because these mosquitoes carry at least 20 different diseases, including yellow fever. They're typically ranked among the world's 100 worst invasive species. Number 3. Tegu Lizards It's a black and white reptile that can weigh around 30 pounds, measure 4 feet long, and is known to have powerful claws, jaws, and very sharp teeth. It's native to South America, but more than 100 sightings of the critters have been reported in Florida. Wildlife experts think it was first introduced into the ecosystem by a lizard breeder who released his collection of animals into the wild. They've since been breeding throughout the state, where Florida's climate is similar to that of its native habitat. But in 2020, they were also causing an invasive nuisance in the state of Georgia. Since the tegu's population can rapidly increase, they pose a direct threat to native reptiles and amphibians by outcompeting them for space and food. While the lizards aren't typically known to be aggressive, they will defend themselves if they feel threatened. So experts caution people against attempting to capture or kill the animal. Call a professional trapper instead. Number 2. Nile Perch Measuring more than 6 feet and weighing up to 400 pounds, these fish are regarded as one of the planet's most notorious invasive species. They're native to freshwater lakes and rivers in Africa. After being introduced to Lake Victoria in 1950, their population exploded in the 1980s. With such large numbers, these fierce predators caused the extinction or near extinction of several hundred native species. The Nile perch can cause substantial damage due to its appetite for creatures that support their ecosystems, like crustaceans, insects and zooplankton. In Australia, it directly competes with the native barramundi. Number 1. Burmese Pythons This beast ranks as one of Florida's signature invasive species. They first started showing up in the 1980s and their population has ballooned ever since, with many of them now found in the Everglades. Because irresponsible pet owners would start to get scared of their python and couldn't take care of it and released it into the wild. These serpents have been taking out native animals like raccoons, possums and squirrels with a cold-blooded efficiency worthy of the Terminator. The threat to indigenous wildlife is so severe that the Sunshine State authorised a hunting program to control the numbers of this beast. Even though the program has resulted in a lot of captures, an estimated 100,000 of the animals could still be slithering about in the wild. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more videos like these. See you later.